Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. Uh, today we'll be discussing about the scholarships in Russia, and these are fully funded scholarships from the Spaltech University. And you can study masters and PhD programs in Russia for the session 2025 and 2026. I uh, will show you the full process for this. How do you uh, apply for this all tech university scholarship before that? Let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel full scholarships. If you are here for the first time, please do subscribe and do follow us on Instagram page as well. Uh, our username is full scholarships as you see here and on the YouTube we can search full scholarships and we will appear there and you can apply for any other scholarships that we had premiered full detailed guide is there you can just watch any of the videos link for this scholarship is given in the video description below you can check out any of the videos links are in the respective descriptions as well as in the about section of the youtube you can see here and in the instagram bio you can see link is also given there or you can directly message us on instagram and ask for the link we'll send you there and you can also directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmillook.com and once you are on our website, you can read about this Skoltek University Scholarship in Russia. And the fields that are offered uh, for the programs for masters are biotechnology, petroleum, and you can see all the major subjects. And then followed by the PhD doctoral programs, you can see uh, top subjects are there. And for eligibility to the master's course, you should have a bachelor's degree. And for PhD, you should have master's degree. And basic, if you have IELTS and TOEFL scores that are well and good and uh, then that's the uh, criteria you should uh, you'll be having to fill this application then the benefits of the scholarship are mentioned here you can see full tuition fee waiver will be given monthly stipend of 40,000 rubles will be given for masters and 70,000 for the PhD and uh, almost double then comprehensive medical insurance and uh, exchange programs you can also go from russia to other country as well in the exchange program then required documents you need so basic cv and uh, uh, or resume then the academic transcripts and the final degree certificates and then motivation letter and i list toefl if available it's not mandatory and then two recommendation letters that's it now how do you apply simply we have to visit the call tech official website portal then uh, fill the application upload all the documents and uh, then once you submit the application, uh, short lists will be done in within the week and uh, there will be a selection weekend. So you'll receive an email and then once you are successful through the interview, you will be receiving the offer. There are two deadlines. First for the masters is the deadline uh, 7th of July 2025 and for PhD 1st of the July. To start application, simply scroll down at the end you can see apply here button. So click on this button here. Now, once you click on that, you can see the Scaltech uh, official requirements and deadlines pages here. You can see admission requirements for masters, for PhD, then application requirements. You can see. So you have to make an online application here. So you have to click on this online application. Then you can see deadlines and other factors. Now click on this online application link here. And once you click on that online application link, you can see application form is here. So if you are for the first time here, you can sign up if you have already a uh, username and password you can just simply sign in so let me just sign in i have previously uh, signed up and now i'll click on sign in so you can see uh, our previous application dashboard is here so you can see you can now apply a new one from home page so sign out now and apply so let's click on that so we have to apply again so for the first name you have to mention that and then the phone number choose the country here so you have to and then email and for email you have to mention that now uh, which degree you want to complete masters or PhD I'll go with the masters here then choose the program which subject you want I'll go with the data science here and then country of citizenship mention that then which language you want to select the process so select the English click on this I have read terms and conditions click on continue and uh, you can see our form is almost done so let's uh, move to the next page so that we have the successful sign up process here and uh, now let's see the page is still loading uh, there is a progress by form so you have to complete a profile uh, education details then professional details so uh, you can see let me click on the skip button and now 
you can mention your last name and then uh, the program is there which education track you want i'll go the machine learning and ai ml and then uh, now let's upload the photo first then gender you have to change uh, let me upload a, so let me choose a sample photograph here click done and close then enter the date of birth after that your country of residence density of residence and then how did you heard about this program so you can say social media click on save after that uh, you have to fill the education details in the meantime you will also receive an email you can see profile section is now complete so now i did the education details so suppose previous university i have completed the bachelor's so when was the program awarded and you can mention that then cgpa so out of you can mention that then upload the degree certificate and once it's uploaded click on done and close then upload the transcript so for bachelors i am applying uh, uploading these transcripts after that you can complete the high school details as well if you're applying for bachelors just you need to have high school then click on save it's a simple application form you can see and once it's saved we have to uh, next section that's the professional details we will have to complete that so one by one you should uh, complete details you should also verify the details that you are filling in you cannot later edit these details uh, you should cross check the details as per the passport spellings you have your grades your mark sheets your transcripts your degree certificates so spellings uh, subjects everything must be as same so now professional details so let's upload the cv first that's the resume there's no certified uh, format but uh, once you are making a resume, once you are making a CV, you should have an ATS score of above 80%. So that's a good pick for the uh, shortlisting. So now you can see done. Now motivation letter. These are the things that matter in the application in this Scaltech University. So you can see if you have a low uh, skill of speaking English, no need to worry about that. So you can see. I have a native language of this. Now let's upload the recommendation. So you can recommend this, uh, recommend or request recommendation, or you can just upload a recommendation here. So I do have a letter. I'll just submit that here. So two recommendations from two professors, be it academic or non-academic. It's recommended that it be uh, the academic. So I'll just upload this. You have both the formats. If you have not yet received any of the uh, Recommendation letter, you can just contact your professor that I'm just submitting your email. Please do submit the recommendation letter. Now, if you have GRE, TOEFL, IELTS score, you can just submit that. If you have any uh, uh, research interests, you can just submit that. If you have any professors, you can just submit that. And then, uh, what's your English proficiency? I'm a native speaker. If your country, if your uh, citizenship is there, so I am not of these. So I'll just provide, uh, okay, there'll be in school tech if you have. So university language of instruction was my English. So I'll just choose this option. If you have no certificate of English proficiency, still you can just apply and you can choose the uh, online evaluation of English. So you'll be having an online exam, basic exam. After that, uh, so let's upload a university certificate files, be it transcripts, be it uh, all the degree certificates that we have got, mark sheets, just compose it. Uh, combined uh, file of PDF. If you have any other documents and achievements, you can do that and upload that. Now click on save, and uh, this should be it. And let's see what happens next. So you can see two of the sections are complete. Uh, now third section is on the save. So let's wait for it to save so that all the three sections are there. Uh, it's still on the save, so let's wait for it. It might take few seconds depending on the internet connection 
and the country of residence you are so uh, there are some restrictions as well so you don't need to worry about that so just wait and watch so you can see all the process is done now you can click on submit application so i recommend before submitting you should review all the details so that there is no errors in the application process that you have completed so almost the progress is done you can see overall application progress progress by form so you can see all the section and uh, we'll also receive an email so let's wait for that once it is submitted we'll receive an email and uh, we'll check that while you sign up there will be an email as well and once you submit there will be a uh, reference email as well so you should receive two emails once during the sign up process and once you submit so you can see your application is sent uh, your super uh, application is being processed will be in touch via email and if you have doubts you can ask at admissions at scholartip uh, dot ru and now let's go to the home page here and let me check the email in the first email you can see we have received the uh, username and password to log in now let's check, check the second email here you can see second email uh, success you submitted your application uh, you can see it is there and congrats uh, you just submitted your application to masters at uh, scoltech so next will be uh, the next step will be taken online test on 12th of march so you on the 12th of march like uh, eight days from now you have to appear for a test so you can see uh, on the 12th of March, we'll have just an online exam. There'll be few uh, optional questions, MCQ questions. So you have to, you have multiple options to choose from. You just submit that basic. It will be based on your subject that you have appeared for. Like I applied for data science in masters. So it will be, the questions will be regarding the data science itself. So no need to worry, no need to hesitate. So you can use just uh, the answers that uh are there given so you have to choose that so that's it i hope you have the now uh process thought how do we apply for this russia scholarship in this Caltech university if you have doubts you have any queries just drop uh down in the video comment section and also you can ask us on instagram directly you can just message us there and you can also comment down below the video but remember do message and uh, uh, before that do remember to follow and once you drop the comment please remember to uh, subscribe so that your comment does not go to the spam section because most of the cases we see that you drop the comments but it goes to spam section and once we find it it's too late to answer so that's why i recommend just subscribe and then drop the comment and similarly follow and then drop the message so that we can answer you uh, in the meantime that you are watching the video that you are applying so that you don't miss the deadlines so so you can just uh, regularly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmillook.com. Keep in touch with us and apply for any of the opportunities. Any doubts you have, just ask us. Keep watching, keep subscribing. Have a nice day ahead.